All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I hope you will like this video because for some reason I had the hardest time trying to get my software to work for this microscope here. Uh, so please like this video because that was extremely annoying to get to work. So I wanted to just show you a little bit of the characteristics of this uh, type of mold, mold Aspergillus. Cat, can you? Why does he always have to do this? Cat, can you please stop? Thanks, buddy. Uh, so you can see these string-like substances here. That is the hyphae. And if you remember a while back, I made a video. I can't remember which one it is. Where I talked about hyphae. I can't remember which video that is. But go through my old videos and uh, watch them all. <laughs> Anyways, you'll probably notice that uh, these don't look green. That's because I have a... Uh, LED light shining on them so it kind of changes the colors I can assure you they are green uh, this mold is very very green but I wanted to show you that string like you done and that can uh, please put an F in the comments for breezy because after this video I'm probably gonna kill him just kidding just kidding Anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys the fruit and bodies of this too. If I can move around here, uh, this is on a charcoal agar plate, which is why you can see the background is black. Uh, I'm using a charcoal agar plate uh, just to kind of show the contrast. Uh, where was it? I found it earlier and I can't really seem to find them anymore. Where are they? Let's try to go over here. There's some right there. There's actually a good example right here. Uh, let's see if I can get the zoom good on this. Perfect. Now you can see those little balls there. Whoops. Focus, please. Thank you. Those little balls are the fruit and bodies, and that's what drops more spores. Uh, much like, um, you know, mushrooms do. They have their own fruit and bodies, and that's how the cycle continues. Now, I'm uh, recording this on top of the... Uh, the agar plate disc so I'm gonna try to uh, take this off and see if I can get in a little bit deeper alright let me throw this uh, cap along to the side somewhere I'm with two hands here because I don't want to drop my microscope completely in this let's see oh I can get really deep in there but unfortunately I don't have the uh, can I? Can you see that? Wow, we are very deep in there, but my hand won't stay steady. Uh, let's try to light in. No, we need more light in. Well, my hand is way too shaky for this. I'm very sorry, guys. I tried to get you in as deep as I could. But I'm going to end this episode off here, though. Let me throw this cap back on the plate and just show you a uh, extreme uh, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. There we go. There's the picture. Well, that's kind of a good shot, too, actually. That's a really good shot. There we go. So I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. If you like this type of content, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I do have more agar plates. I could show you red mold next if you're interested in that, or pink mold, um, which can be commonly... Uh, mistaken or which could be fusarium or not i don't know what i'm talking about i'm tired um i just got a call for a job interview for next week so i'm excited for that uh anyways i'm gonna end this episode off here if you like this content be sure to like comment and subscribe but until next time keep on growing keep on smoking and i'll catch you guys in the next episode see you later Bye bye